Hello, it's Mark Matosh, Chief Markham 3D, and today we're going to be creating a cave-like flooring, if that makes sense, ish, kinda. And so what I'm going to be using is one of the previous tiles that we've created, um, just so we've got this structure here down the bottom, and I'm going to kind of just lay stuff on top of it. So let's get started. So I've got the top faces here already selected. I'm going to delete vertices, and so here I should be able to just go F. Nope, you're a jerk. So what I can do is I am just going to put an edge loop through there with control R, control R, V to rip. And let's come over here, select that V to rip. I want to select these three quadrants hmm. and I will just select them individually. I don't know why it's doing that. Control L, delete vertices, control L. Well, this section here didn't rip by the looks of it. V, control L delete vertices so now I've got this section here so I'm just going to quickly face let's go face in here select these four face it's going to come up to the top here let's do control R and then control B and about here GY let's just roughly line that up F F F F, F, F. From here, I'm going to come into the modifier, mirror modifier, and we want X and Y. And now we've got our base plate. So now we can kind of build on it. So the question is, what are we going to do for this base plate? Do we just want to put big pebbles on the ground? So, I mean, there's various ways we can do this. We can go for this um, kind of like marble here. Let's just click on that just to make that a little bit bigger. Um, where it's got ca uh, cracks through the pavers. I quite like that. Um, down here I saw this one here where it's kind of like a stone floor. What to do? And I think I might go with this one. Um, fairly easy, fairly straightforward. And let's go, let's go for that. So I'm gonna do Shift A at a plane. Let's delete that. Shift S, cursor to world origin. And then I'll do now Shift A plane. Let's go G Z. And what I'll do is I'm actually going to leave it all the way to the edge. So now if you've seen some of my other videos where I actually create sci-fi paneling, this is what I'm exactly what I'm going to do right now. So let's just put in a few edge loops, control R mouse wheel. And what we're going to start doing is let's create some pavers. So around the border, I'm always very pedantic about it. So for instance, this is one block. So that's one block there. Um, so I might do control B and let's keep uniform, uniform spacing in between. So 0 0.01. Well, actually, yes, we're 3D printing. We need big spaces. I'm going to delete faces. So we've kind of now, if we were to um, kind of make this an array, well, actually, let's do that. If I go add modifier and array and now we'll see what our tiles actually look like um, I'm going to add in another array but down here rather than having an X offset I'm going to do a Y offset and so now we're going to kind of actually see what our pavers will look like so from here uh, I'm going to put one there and one here control B 0.01 delete faces. So now we can see that this corner piece here will always be that paver. Um, let's just put some here. Let's put a line, actually not a line all the way through. Actually, I will do that. Control B 0.01. Let's do the middle. I bet you I don't have a middle. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's the middle. Control B 0.01. Delete faces. And let's do the same for here. Control B 0.01, delete faces. Um, let's select this edge and these edges. And I'm just going to scale that in ever so slightly. And there we go. So now we've got our squares, but we've still got something overlapping. You know, just give that a little bit of difference. And now I actually think I might go W, subdivide. And let's just start etching pieces out. So how are we going to do this? 
Nice big paver here. Big paver there. And so this is all I'm gonna do now for a little bit. And so now you can see that we've created our tiles. Very quick, very simple. Um, I do have some lines here, but I'm not too fussed about that. So right now I'm gonna come over here into the modifiers. Let's get rid of the array ones. And from here, I'm gonna add modifier solidifier. And so now we've got some depth and let's now offset that. Whoops, sorry, let's make it thicker. Okay, and there we have it, there's our tile. So I'm just gonna save this quickly. And from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press apply. And let's now shift right click on both of them, control J to join them. And that didn't really work because this other object had the mirror modifier. So let's do control Z and I'm gonna come back into the bottom. Let's click apply. Let's make sure everything's applied. Select both, Control J, and there we have it. Beautiful. So, file, export, STL, and save it where you want. So, we're in Cura now, and let's open our STL, and that is massive. Let's kind of scale that back down. So, if we come back, go back to previous, one blender unit is one millimeter. And we want this to be 25 millimeters across. So it means we just scale it by 25. Obviously one square is 25. Um, two squares, obviously two mil times 25 is 50. Beautiful. File, export, STL, 25. Basic cave, export, let's go over to Cura, delete, delete, import, basic cave, beautiful. All right, now we're cooking with gas. Low quality, let's bump that up to dynamic quality. Uh, let's discard that. And I'm going to enable ironing. Uh, zigzag, that's fine. Line spacing, yeah, whatever, so that's fine. Infill density, 20%, beautiful. Generate support, yes, please. Touching build plate, that's fine. Do I want a skirt? No, I want a brim. Slice, let's have a look. How does it gonna look? Come over here into preview mode. It's not too bad. Nice, all right. Let's now export that over to the printer, print it out, and hopefully she'll be all good.